Hello guys, welcome back to another episode, and this is episode 7 now, and yeah, well, first off, I just want to show us the new upgrades, and then we'll explain what we're going to be doing, and how we're going to be going about doing it. Eat. So that mob farm, it doesn't really work. The one we made last episode, is it's not loading right now, but... I guess we can, we did find a teleportation one in a dungeon, or like a cave or something, I don't even remember. Oh, mineshaft, mineshaft, that's what it was. Yeah, we found that in the mineshaft. This thing doesn't work at all. I tried on claiming ch the land and stuff like that. Nothing changed. So while we're at it, let's just claim those back. Just so we know it's our property. We did have someone else come on the server, one of my friends, and I invited him into our team and stuff like that. Not that much. He just, he didn't play long. But, yeah, he was on here. He didn't make an appearance. I tried to get him on the video, but he had to go. Alright, so, we got these solar panels, which just give us one GP during daytime for each one. Uh, they were pretty cheap to make. You made three of them. Um, I don't know if this was here last time. But we have a crusher, automates, by two up two speeds, transfer now with a upgrade stack. So it's just gonna do it like there. I don't remember that was there. But with our sword, I did add for t um, sharpness five. It took thirty six levels and emerald or not an emerald, sixty quartz and nine lapis. Pretty cheap to make. And then when we come over to no, I think that's actually it. I didn't do much, like I said. But, um, the only problem that we have now is, well, actually, let's start with the goal. The goal is to go to the end. Because I have been hunting Ender Enderman for, like, um, let's say, 10 Minecraft days. And I've had no luck. And then finally, I just found a bunch because I used a teleportation one to go to the desert. It's kind of like we can fly now. It's... Not really good flying, but we can fly now because it automatically powers with the battery. Which is pretty nice. I think if you, yeah, if you push sneak and teleport, then it does a shorter distance rather than just going. But we don't have any blazes anymore. And to make a portal t takes, it'll be six blazes. Unless we can like somehow sag mill it to get extras. So we just have to find some blazes. And we don't have a fortress, so we are just going to have to look around for blazes until we find a fortress. I believe that right there. Let's go down there. Yeah, that is stone. That's coming from the pump that we have up there creating lava for us. Which I didn't know it made this, but this is pretty nice. This is why we have like lava going slow, is because it goes all the way up and then all the way down. Or maybe it just goes all the way up. And then moves on to the next place. So that's actually gone a long way. I don't know how far it'll go. And how wide it'll go and stuff. Right, here's another Enderman. But we're about to fight a Blaze. So it's probably not a good day to fight him. Yep. <laughs> now we're on fire. Now we're gonna die. <laughs> Unless we can heal. Oh yeah, we can heal. I need to get like some kind of fire resistance. Because these lava block magma blocks hurt you. Please just hurt you. Um, we didn't even get any out of that one. We have loot in three, so we should be getting blazes. Yeah, we got four from that one. And as I, I'm not new to the newest, or I'm not um, used to the newest version, but I believe the end portals actually come with some filled in them, which could be helpful. The reason why I'm gathering cobalt, ardite, stuff like that, we don't really need it for a pickaxe and stuff like that, but I do want to make a crossbow. And I think you need um, manualium to make a good one. So that's why we've been gathering those. And now I hear a guess. I think on the server I have to change it so we can have a better view distance, because six is way too short. Um, all right. So, do do do. Actually, let me, t oh, there's a draconium over there. Let me just turn this down to 12 again. 
because it's on a server, it doesn't even use my view distance, so it really doesn't matter. Oh, there's more draconium up there. Wow. He's found two. Alright, so we'll just mine this. Oh, wow, that gave us a lot. Wait, what? That, that was like a lot, and we only have Fortune 1. I believe this is Fortune 1, too. Yeah, Fortune 1. So we'll just mine it. Yeah, it's not bad. And uh, we go to our backpack. Oh yeah, we got nine from that. Wow, that's a, that's pretty good. Not that we need it yet, because we're not doing anything with draconium or er, draconic evolution for a while. But yeah, we all we need is blazes right now. I think if we get two more blaze rods, we should be good. So we can just teleport around, and we have slime boots, so we don't take fall damage. So we can actually go find a blaze spawner from another fortress, but I believe that's not necessary. I believe we can just look for the actual blazes, just, yep. Oh, jeez. I know we could probably fly and kill him, but I kind of just want to kill him like this. And then that blaze is going to shoot at us. <laughs> Try to draw them over here, because... This wand kind of brings you down like in two seconds, so I don't really want to fight them over lava. <laughs> Once they fall, here, let's turn our magnet on. I did make an electromagnet from Ender IO, which is a lot better than that other one that used 3 million RF. The other one used 3 million RF and it drained the battery that we have. Uh, oh! I was gonna try to jump and kill him just because he was taking so long. <laughs> He's gonna drop to us anyway. I so bad at hitting. There we go. There we go. Uh, now we got a lot of 11 blazer rods. That should be enough. And I believe we can go find the end portal. The reason why we need the end is because we need ender pearls for a lot of things. And just having we're not even close to ending the pack, so don't get that idea. Why we need the end is so we can just have ender pearls. Because we need them for so many things, and not having a valid farm kind of sucks. Because that mob farm that we do have, I did think of a reason why it wouldn't be working. I don't know if anyone can clarify this reason, but if you um have it too close to the ground, since we're not on Skyblock, too close to the ground could actually have it less have chances of spawning mobs because. There's so many like light up areas, and that could be a problem. Uh, there was a little lag right there. That could be a problem though, so I think that might actually be the reason why. I'm not sure on that, so if anyone has any idea, you just let me know. But um, I think we're just gonna get rid of that mob farm, and then make like a giant box area, and then when we get big reactors going, we can use actual powered spawners. <laughs> I believe there was a reason why we haven't even done big reactors yet. Oh yeah, we need a lot of gold and iron. So after this episode, that's probably what I'm going to do off stream. It's just literally going to mining fatigue. Because I, I can't. Without all this iron and stuff like that, we have nowhere to go. So I'm just going to have to do that off stream video. Because, um, yeah, that's just too much iron and stuff to do on mining. Sorry, I'm eating a mint right now. That's why my voice might sound funny. And tomorrow I have a busy day because I'm gonna be. I just bought a new dresser. I'm gonna. You have to manually put it together, so I'm gonna be putting that together. <laughs> so it's gonna be a fun day tomorrow. Let's see. Is there any thing we can do with blaze rods? Feel a crusher. You have 40 chance. Um. Ooh. If we make a blaze farm, we could actually use them for power. I didn't know that. Um, Sagmill. Sagmill gets you four blaze brothers, so. Bottoms up. Actually, we'll just do what we need. Put the rest in here. Actually, let's take two more out of there. Alright. Oh yeah, that made us a ton. Alright, so Ender Pearls. We're gonna bring all the ender pearls with us, but only right now we'll only do ten because we might need more. We might also 
um, break them on the way to finding the portal. Alright. So what do we have in our bags? Let's just empty all this crap. Alright, so we probably should make a crossbow before we do anything. And that's going to require gold. So we'll just throw all the gold in here because I don't know what pieces we're going to have to make. I should have thought about what crossbow we were going to do before the video. So we might not finish the crossbow in this and next episode is when we're actually going to fight the end dragon. Alright, so what what was I do? Oh yeah, tanker stuff. Do we have any wood in here? No, we do not. Oh, actually, we still have it here. Alright, how do you make a crossbow? Uh, do, 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 right here. So we need a uh, large X. Oh, right here. Tough tool rod, tough binding, bowstring, and bow limb. So we need a bow limb. And then a bowstring. So let's just go get more wood and then stone and string should do it stone wood. here we actually we can make it right in here and then some string do we have any other special string Bowstring, slime vine. I wonder if we can just take slime or how that works. I don't, I, string. We don't have any of these yet. I wonder if you need like a crystal slime. Do you need a slime crystal to... Let's just check this first. You might need a slime crystal to make it. And then what was the other one? We need a string, right? Bow string. Bow over here. Do, 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 do. That's just gonna make regular string. So I believe we need a crystal. So let's go make a slime crystal real quick. Uh, do 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 do. We need a way to vamp up our energy still or power. I still haven't found like a good way to do that yet. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. Um, but I really don't even know like a good way to go, because it's kind of hard to like change everything that you're doing right now. All right. Do, 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 do. Here we go. Bowstring, right? Uh oh. Why does this not allow us to create it? Um. Go back to string. I mean, it doesn't even look like the string does anything different, so I guess it doesn't matter. So, we got our string. Alright, next part of the crossbow. We have the bow string. Tough binding, tough tool rod, and a bow limb. Alright, back to the part better. Can we use this? Oh, it takes three. Um, I don't know. Do we want that? Sorry, I'm <laughs> I don't remember like the exact needs for the parts. What's good? What's not? All right. Um, do 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 do. do. Yeah, that doesn't matter. All right. So we'll do a tough tool rod and tough binding. Oh, tough binding. We need these to smelt them down. Is there a way to just like get rid of that or no? And tough tool rod. 
And I don't know if this has to be metal or not. Um, I believe it probably does. But limb. Actually, let's just make slime. See if we can do that. Slime. Let's do do. Let's melt these puppies down. Oh, lag. <laughs> it should just be golden here, hopefully. Yep. Just make these things real quick. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like I said, we might not finish the crossbow because I'm. I, I actually want to make it a good crossbow, not some just crappy cheap crossbow. We might get the crossbow on and then end the episode, but we will be finding the end and fighting the end next episode. Um, what were I doing? Oh yeah, finding. Can we? Oh, we can. It does look decent, I believe. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna take it. All right. Just leave that cobblestone in there. All right. So back to the smeltery. Um, how do we want to make this? I believe cobalt. The rest can be manulin or manulin. I don't even know. Sorry, I'm not really good at that smelling. I don't know. What the hell that is? Oh, now it says one block. Alright, so we'll just get rid of block. Get rid of some of that gold. So we have two ingots left. That mint was really good. Alright, come on, smelt a little faster, guys. We might have some cobalt left over. Yeah, we will have cobalt left over. I don't know why I threw it all in there. I probably should have done the measurements, but it doesn't really matter. Alright. Boom, boom. So what do we need? We need a tough tool rod and tough binding. Alright, so get rid of you. Put you away in there for now. Tough binding should probably be manual. And tough tool rod should probably be manual. And because I believe that's like the fastest. I'm not really sure on that, but I believe it's like one of the fastest. I wish we had more Ardite, so we can make more, but... I don't really like how it does the conversion like slowly like that. It should just all kind of clop together because you're placing them together. But it is what it is. Alright, so we can make that. <laughs> Let's just hope you have enough mana. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> oh. Now that I think about it, we might... How much does a bolt cost? <laughs> oh, we don't even have that cast. Oops. <laughs> I don't know how much it is, so I'm just going to throw two gold in there. <laughs> Actually, I don't think the gold matters. <laughs> Crap. What did we just make? We made that, so now we need a tough tool rod. <laughs> also, another thing is, I'm probably not going to do it in the next by the next episode, but the uh, episode after that, or just whenever I get time. We are going to make a wall around this because I have been having creepers and stuff spawn right here, over there, on the base. Another guy was on the server, he almost blew it up. Like right here, already got blown up. So yeah, we're going to have to fix that. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, gold. Make sure that's gold. Oh, it was not. That could have been bad. Alright, so we make gold tool out there and then if we pour... Let's just experiment with this. We do cobalt on there. Oh, actually, we could have done both of them, I believe. <laughs> Manual. <laughs> All right, and then we'll take the cobalt tool rod. <laughs> Unless you want. Do you not pour on to make the arrows in this version? I don't know. Let's go see if we can actually just make the crossbow. <laughs> and then we will have to. Just kind of test around, make sure this is a decent crossbow. All right, so do 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 do. 600 draw speeds 2.14. That's pretty good. Attacks weak, but we can add some cords. Um, yeah, it's not a bad range multiplier. I don't know what that does, but this is not a bad crossbow. Besides the damage, so we'll name that. I love 
turtles killer <laughs> since we have the slayer <laughs> try that right there all right how do you make arrows that's our only concern now the bolts are used for ammo take us down once that provides many shots and they give me a lot of it components are bolt core bolt core and fletching so we will have to make a fletching that's probably one we forgot yep I believe this is where you're supposed to use the slimes if I'm not mistaken um, let's see what our options are fletching yep usually a lot of people use the slime fletching here so this is there any difference um, 1.5 uh, it's better to use the blue ones. Alright, let's go get two more slime crystals. If we can, I hope we can. Oh, god. Just enough. We are gonna run this episode a little longer since we're testing. Or not testing, but I'm um, just crafting this crossbow. I don't have a problem with that though. Um, I'm sure none of you guys do either. Alright, so what was I doing right here? Oh, God, it doesn't work. <laughs> I wish it would, like, tell you what you have to do. Slimely Fletching. Slimely Fletching, Slimely Fletching. Why can't it, like, just tell me what I have to do to craft it? I, I don't understand why it's... Um, da, 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 da. that would be pretty good. I don't know why we can't use it. I guess I'll. I, it said feather. Feather fletching. So I'll just get string, feathers, and bones. Try all of them. Bones, feathers, string. I don't know what you have to use. Feather fletching kind of straightforward, just means a feather, but I doubt that's what it is. Because that'll be. It, it is. That kind of makes me mad. In a way. Slime leaf. I don't know, can you like combine them? Oh, uh, that's weird. Uh, I guess not. That's what you gotta use. Alright, so. A bolt. I, I don't understand how to make bolts. What do you have to dump on top of a bolt? I don't have the Tinker's Book anymore to even see, I don't believe. Um, bolt materials. What was I doing? Bowstring, arrow shaft, maybe? Oh, to make a f different fletching, you have to have the leaves. Duh, that makes sense now that I think about it. Wow. Well, we'll just stick with the feather one. We could always change it later. Um, so that's not what I wanted. bow I don't really know how this works <laughs> just kind of keep going through until we see what we want <laughs> I don't where are the bo oh, boats the boat is a heavy armor present uh, once loaded in the crossbow they deal high amounts of damage how do you make the bolt? <laughs> the, the, as well as the bolts, the bolt's crafting page explains how to craft the parts. Where's the bolt crafting page? A oh, bolt, the craft bolt, you need a bolt core. Alright, uh, by putting an arrow shaft into a casting tube and pouring the head material onto it. An arrow shaft. 
What the heck is an arrow chef? Oh my, let's keep looking. Arrow shaft, arrow shaft, hatchet. I don't see what then looking arrow. Uh, <laughs> bolt. High damage, uh, damage dealt on the, the bolt crash makes it how to cut the part. Ammo for crossbows, 50% armor. Um, once in many shots, crossbow. I actually don't believe it tells us. Maybe I was doing it right, but the materials I was trying to use can't be used. Because in the last version, yeah, you just dump something onto it. But doesn't that just look like a normal... You know, an arrow shaft. What is an arrow shaft? That's a regular arrow. Unless there's like a part for it. Arrow shaft. Oh, right here. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Wait. No, I don't see. How do you create an arrow shaft? You can use bones. Can we see how they create an arrow shaft? Um, da, da, da. We'll just start from the beginning again. I didn't see arrow shaft. I don't see it on here either. I wonder if we can make a like a slime arrow shaft. Where is that? No, we cannot. All right, this is making me mad now. I don't want to make a bone arrow shaft. That just seems horrible. But I guess for the purpose of the video on the time that we have left we can try it but all right so we'll go over here and try that if it doesn't work i guess we'll just end the video because we are already over our time by a lot actually let's just keep it on cobalt let's see what happens oh it does seem to work so we'll just throw that back in there uh, it takes longer all right so we'll try this E yeah, I don't think this is going to be any good just because of the bone shaft. But the cobalt's really good because it's a strong material and whatnot. Alright, so the fletching's going to be bad as is. So, throw it in there. Oh, uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it is pretty bad, so. And the cross, not even like the cross was good. <laughs> oh, in this version you actually have to reload it yourself. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> so we'll have to apply redstone to this. What? It shot like more than one bullet. <laughs> Does it not show us how much bullets we have left? Or is it just the durability? 60 out of 60. 59. Well, that time I only saw it one. I'm used to the 1.7 version, so... Alright, so let's see if we can get some redstone. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. God, I care more about redstone than damage on the actual bow. Alright, so what do we got? Durability is not bad on this bow. 600, and probably never use that. Alright, but if we just apply redstone. Oh, I forgot the extra five redstone per operation. So draw speed's under two now, which isn't bad. Cold blooded, I don't know what that means. Cold blooded durability is 50. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's try it out now. Oh, that's a lot faster. And does quartz matter only on the arrows or does it matter on the actual bow too I'm not sure about that so just add 10 in there get rid of that get rid of that that get rid of that get rid of that so our bow is gonna do it just fine 
and we can upgrade the parts as we go along. It's not really a big deal. All right, so if we, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna add quartz and redstone. All right, so if we come up here, do 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 do. Do do. Add that redstone and add some quartz. Oh wow, it does take a lot. Does the attack the, the attack does go up? Oh wait. 2.8 to 5.49 which is actually pretty useful for us and if we take that and add it to the oh wow it takes 72 oh shy right here so if we're going 5.1 to 7.8 for the arrows the arrows all we really need the accuracy is fine if we can put a diamond on it let's try that see if we can put a diamond on it so we could have 500 bullets instead of 60 I wouldn't mind that but literally all we need on those is damage. If you can't do it, it's no big deal. But we are going to have to go to the nether and get more quartz. Alright, so, because the ender dragon's pretty tough, as is. You guys know that. Not enough modern eye fires. One needed. Oh, wait, no. Nah. Wrong thing. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> it doesn't give us 500, but it gives us extra 60. So I'm going to take it. So that does almost 10 damage. The bow now does 6 damage with a draw speed of under 1.8. That is pretty decent for this stupid bow that we made. With just out of our head. I wonder if there's a modifier that like automatically reloads it for you. Or if you have to do it manually. But it does seem like we can just pick up our ammo. That's pretty neat. Something like... There's a chance, probably, I'm sure, that you're going to lose some, but in 1.7.10, you lost it. Unless, there was a chance in that version, too, but not as highly as this one. Alright, so we'll just fix this path. Next episode, expect us to find the end portal and, yeah, fight the end dragon. So we can just make an ender farm, and just an enderman platform, at least. So there's a bunch of endermen, we'll just fight them get ender pearls with their lunin 3 sword i don't mind it at all yeah so thank you guys for watching and sorry about the long episode but i think it was time for one anyways we this is our seventh episode so seven episodes in one week wow not a day not a day without a break that that is i'm proud of myself but i expect there to be a lot more so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time have fun